hello guys so it's early in the morning because for i think two weeks three weeks we are having like super hot weather here in germany and we haven't seen any rain yes and um <clears throat> i got a cold and this is where my next video will be about so with using the plants in my backyard, I started doing a house apothecary. No. So I get, went into herbalism. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff I have. And things I just, yeah, I, I just have sitting there um, like this. So, um, I wish it would look as good as with the oil. So this is an alcohol. Um, so I made different things. So with alcohol, with oil, and I dried things. And my experience so far is, I just, I'm, I'm not taking this oil stuff any. Um, I'm not going into oil. Because, well, this is molding. So I was picking the blossoms for hours and put them into oil and thought I made a nice salve but I now have a very colorful moldy biology experiment so yeah this is going to waste and this is so hurtful so I have a few things okay with this people might stone me right now but yeah so i got a lot of stuff and huh, with my cult so i had this of course it was completely full but then the cold hit um it wasn't done yet but anyways i did put it into a bottle and used it up and it helped it helped a lot so Actually, this sore throat and stuff like this was gone in no time. I think I just had one day. And the stupid nose is my issue. So, yeah, this is why you, you might hear me talking a little bit nasal. <laughs> so, yeah, but my best experiences is with dried. So... I'm putting them and drying them, putting them away and having them like a tea or four teas. And of course with alcohol because mold, <laughs> mold and alcohol are not best friends. So yeah, in the last video I had dandelion and he just the leaves. And here I have the leaves, I have the roots. And I also have some, oh yeah, there are some blossoms in between. So yeah, they are all one color. So yeah, <laughs> I, I just, I just have to put it somewhere else. I don't know yet where it, uh, so how much it is and where to put it. This is my biggest issue right now. But so far, this is an awesome thing. I think so well I might have mentioned it before but I like to have my skill set like a 50s housewife or a 30s housewife um, because I have the feeling that a lot of things are just going down at the moment and uh, well that's a funny thing in the background right um, so in this skill set and just to know what is growing in my backyard, what can I eat, how amount, what kind of amounts I can I eat of which plant, what does help in which situation, is something um, I consider a very very valuable information and a very valuable skill. So this is where I'm going. So of course I did something else, but. This is something I will show you for the Christmas preparation because this is one of three things I'm gonna do. 
and uh, yeah, so this will come up in November, but I had to start it right now. So yeah, lots of plants. So nice the ivy, <laughs> dandelion, and uh, many more flowers. I don't know the names of, or in English, I don't know the names of. Plus, I just I'm just starting myself, so I don't want to give any information on what they are supposed to do and uh, how they are used. So just please watch some other um, tutorials. <coughs> ah, excuse me. So oh, and, and something else, what I you can use flowers the stinging nettles for so last I just had for eating but now you I mentioned that in the previous video but you can actually take the um, fibers of the stinging nettle and use it as a twine which is awesome and something I really really want to try and do actually I wanted it to do it last year but I messed up totally um yeah so when you are interested in this completely old skill set then sally pointer the huge her youtube channel channel might also be something for you so i dug into this and it's so awesome i really like doing this and she's doing a stinging nettle challenge every year so last year she tried the challenge was how long can a twine be that you are doing with just one stinging nettle plant. Um, yeah, before this she um, made the challenge to do some, um, yeah, like, like this uh, arm, this friendship bracelets um, out of stinging nettle fiber. So yeah this is going to be very very interesting okay this is enough for today and uh, i hope you are also uh, bringing your skill set forward for what might ever happen so and whatever you know now without looking into the internet it's there because sometimes I'm afraid of the blackout and when there's a blackout, you don't have internet. So you only can take what is in your head or what you have as a booklet somewhere sitting around. <sighs> okay, so see you soon. And I think after this video, there will be a lot, a lot of Seven vs. Wild because this is a survival show and I think this is getting very close to survival in nature. <laughs> and hey, I called my channel Modern Life Survival, actually. So this is what it's called right now. I'm already thinking about rebranding it because uh, what I usually wanted to do there is not something I'm doing, but for a later moment, for some later time. Okay, with this, see you, bye-bye.